Hey guys, this video comes from a question that Misty asks, and she asks, do you have any tips for dyeing black? I was told to add black dye into brown because it will run into your tooling as it soaks in. So black is a dye that has, it scared me for a long time too, um, because of, for one, hearing people say that you can't dye things black, you'll have it run, you'll have things bleed. Um, I dealt with it with a with a dye I was using get kind of a green sheen to it almost and that wipes off onto your other tooling when you're uh, trying to lacquer and, and resist things so I had trouble with it it scared me I quit uh, using black for a long time and I went uh, to using cordovan that's how I really got to love that color um, because it's such a dark color you can almost play it off for black you can even max mix a little black into it make take a dark brown mix some black into that a lot of workarounds there but I've actually uh, gone to dyeing leather black and not having a problem with it so I'm going to show you how I do it this is a just a little tag I'm working on it has a brand on here that we're going to dye black and then I'm going to have that stay black to where it's not going to run or bleed after we dye that but the big key I think is what dye we're using and that's what I've noticed uh, the big change is this Phoebe's pro dye so if you use the black pro dye and there's all sorts of kinds of different colors and different types of blacks there's the leather dye the USMC black I you know there, there's lots of different stuff I'm showing you what has worked for me and what I am confident whoop, hit the camera what I'm showing you what I am confident in that works and what we're gonna do after we put that die on that's gonna help that uh, and make that be something that lasts so I'm just using a small little brush here we're gonna go ahead and get these letters dyed see as I'm putting that in I'm getting a, a good enough coat on there that it's a nice solid color to that so we're gonna get nice and even you know it takes just a second for that to absorb down in there that tells me we're getting getting enough dye on there As I get down towards the end here, I want you to see that this dye has soaked in really well. Again, when we just started, I said I was looking to see that it was taking just a second to absorb into that leather, but I wasn't pooling it up any more than that. So you can see we're not dealing with that green sheen that you might see with other dyes. I know it's something that I had dealt with, but I'm also not gonna put more coats on and sit here and make sure and get a ton of extra dye on there. Um, again, I'm not a dye expert, but I think if we've had enough on there to soak in, there's no sense in adding more to that. That just allows for extra pigment to sit on the top to then get uh, get wiped away there, but. Now that I've done that, I'm not letting it sit for 24 hours or anything like that. I'm just gonna move this die jar out of the way and go ahead and put a lid on that. I always just take the pro die out of here, put it in that wide mouth jar so it's easy to get to. Uh, but the next thing I'm gonna do, now this I think might be kind of part of the part of the key here, but is to grab that 100% pure needs foot oil. And we're gonna put this right over top. Get some just on the sheepskin there. Now that's just gonna help everything soak in, even out as it goes. But notice as I wipe that on there. There's no bleeding, there's no smearing, there's no smudging. That black pro dye stays right where I want it. 
uh, whether something like this that we're putting a brand on or if this was backgrounds in a full tool pattern or borders or anything that die is going to work the same there um, now also just to to clarify too the leather that i'm using this is herman oak leather uh, herman oak veg tan leather so that way just takes out a variable if you're saying hey i tried that on on my stuff and it still didn't work well maybe it's a different leather issue too but as far as dye work goes black pro dye right directly on that herman oak oil over top of that we're set good to go uh, that dye is going to sit in just a little bit longer here so it evens up and then i can go right on with any lacquer antique resiling or you know any any type of finish we want to just leave it plain like this come over with a top with a tan coat however you want to finish this out from here you can you can and that black dye is set right where you want it to be hope you guys find this helpful um, and maybe give you the confidence to use some black dye in your projects uh, and not worry about ruining something but if you enjoy this kind of step-by-step in-depth tips like this be sure to check out the links in the descriptions we have lots more videos and lots other uh, content for you as well so uh, look forward to seeing you guys on the next video